I want to announce, um, first of all, I want to say welcome here, which I think is very important um, to the Living Wage Coalition um, for our um, silent auction. I think it's important that people come and, and show their love and show their appreciation for the fact that, um, you know, we're always struggling and we're going to always struggle. And as long as we got human beings on this earth, <laughs> it's going to be a struggle. Um, as long as we show compassion, I think it's important um, and try to um, separate our indifferences and welcome here and look at art and, and appreciate that. I want to welcome uh, <clears throat> Poetry um, by Caesar Love. Welcome him. Um, well, Sierra, why not remember the dead with um, humor? Let's um, say some things funny and they'll, they'll hear it downstairs somewhere. So, uh -huh. you know, enough being sad for the dead. Enough, uh, just want to try. Let's just try to make the dead laugh. So oh, they right. came up with this story. It's called um, Day of the Dead Beat. <laughs> yeah. Juan had never known his grandfather, but this Dio de los Muertos, he was in the cemetery scrubbing his grandfather's tombstone for the better part of the afternoon. At twilight, he heard a voice. An old man, the color of white flour, appeared. Mijo, you're giving yourself blisters, and I don't like the smell of bleach. <laughs> Abuelito, it's you. What took you so long? <laughs> what took me so long? What took you so long? You're 30 years old, and you've never come to my grave before. I didn't know where to find it, Abuelito. This is a big cemetery. <laughs> Got the bullshit line. You can't fool a dead man. I know you want something from me. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Abuelito, I just want to honor your memory. It's Day of the Dead. <laughs> Nobody wants my memory. People are still trying to forget me. And frankly, I wish they would forget me. So tell me, Juanito, what do you want from me? Right, Abuelito. Well, I'm having trouble with women. I just can't attract any. Women, eh? So tell me, Juanito, what do you want women for? You know, good times, sex, impress my friends, make my enemies jealous. Well, Juanito, what's in it for them? Why would a woman want you? Juan had to think for a moment. Then he declared, I'm a nice guy. Are you? Interrogated his grandfather. Well, yeah. Juan defended himself. So you want your grandpa's help, grandpa's advice on how to score with women? Yeah, sort of. I was wondering if you had any magic tricks, any potions or spells, magic words, something like that. You mean pickup lines? <laughs> sort of. Well, yeah. Do you know any lines that never fail? Yeah. Well. You mean magic pickup lines? <laughs> yes, Abuelito. Can you teach me some magic pickup lines? <laughs> what makes you think I know stuff like that? Said his grandfather with a tone of anger. Well, you were the town brujo, and legend has it you had a way with the ladies, replied Juan. Grandfather answered quietly. It's true, mijo, I did have a way with the ladies, but I don't want you to do the things I did. Your grandmother threw away all the pictures of me so that no one would remember me, and you, grandson, you would be better off if you forgot about me, too. Juan wouldn't give up. Did you really have the power to put women under your spell? He asked the poor man. Yes, I did, sighed Abuelito, but I could never put the delinquent dad catchers under yeah. my spell. I owed child support all over the county. And you know what, grandson? They have an arm of that department down here in the afterlife. I've been dead 25 years, and I'm still doing community service to pay off my CG child support payments. I still owe on your mother. They're taking it out of my hide down here. They make me wear an orange vest and pick up litter on the boulevard. Dead people litter too. <coughs> Por favor, teach me something, abuelito, pleaded Juan. The guys on my block get all the babes, and I can't even get an ugly girl to go out with me. <laughs> Did you ever wonder why, Juanito? You're a handsome boy. You ought to get dates. Yes, I do wonder why, Abuelito. 
It's your bloodline, Juanito. The abuelitas tell their granddaughters about me and warn them to stay away from you. I'm not teaching you any magic lines. Go away. Be respectful to be respectful to women. That's the only way to have one. Grandfather disappeared in a puff of white smoke that made Juan laugh. The entire next year, Juan practiced being respectful. He went totally old school with the ladies. He opened doors for them whenever he could. He hung out near the local junior college and asked the women if he could carry their books. At dances, he would bow and politely ask, may I have the honor of this dance? None of it worked. Juan still couldn't get a date. Instead, he became the object of laughter for his gentleman ways. Oh, wow. The next day of the dead, Juan returned to his grandfather's grave. Once again, he screwed up the tombstone with bleach. After half an hour, his grandfather appeared, pasty and white, as he had the year before. I don't like the smell of bleach. Don't you ever lo learn, said the grumpy grandfather. I did what you said, Abuelito, complain, complained Juan. I was very respectful. I carried their books. I opened doors for them. And I couldn't get a date all year. I've been thinking about your problem, Juan. I've decided to introduce you to someone. From behind the scrub tombstone, a woman appeared. She was dressed in black lace and silver jewelry. Juan's jaw dropped. In that instant, she took his breath and his heart. A few minutes later, he regained his voice. Hi, I'm Juan. What's your name? She laughed a laugh that was part little girl and part old lady. You don't want to know my name. Mm -hmm. Juan muscled up the courage to continue the conversation. There's a dance tonight. Do you want to go? I was hoping you would ask. <laughs> Juan arrived at the dance with a cemetery babe on his arm. Since he didn't know her name, he shied away from introducing her to any of his friends. He couldn't have explained how they met anyhow. His friends just watched in awe. So did his enemies. She danced like a sorceress. Whatever the music, whatever the dance, the mambo, the cha-cha, the merengue, the rumba, she rubbed her body to the edge of every beat of every note of every song. When the band took a break, she said to Juan, take me back to the cemetery. Juan wanted to keep on dancing, loving the attention he was getting from his friends and enemies both. They were the hottest couple on the floor, and everyone was dancing, everyone was watching. But Juan was so entranced with her that he would have walked off a cliff. Oh. Mm. In the cemetery, she gave herself completely to Juan. She made love to him beyond any place his imagination had ever traveled. <coughs> As the dawn began to rise in the cemetery, Juan asked her again, <clears throat> What is your name? Again, she answered, You don't want to know my name. Really, I do. I've never met anyone like you. She laughed her ambiguous laugh, but this time it had a sticky quality, like wet cotton candy mixed with spider webs. <laughs> I'm Angie. Angie. B L M. Angie, that's a nice name, cooed Juan to his lover, but what's with the D L M? <laughs> My full name is Angela de la Muerte, oh. Angel of Death. Juan was puzzled. What was the cemetery babe telling him? I'm Angela de la Muerte, the angel of death, and I work for the Division of Child Support Collection. Oh. Your grandfather owed so much child support, he gave us your soul to clear his debt. I've taken you on the dance of death. You belong to me now. My grandfather did that to me? No way. Yes, your abuelita tried to shelter you from him. You should have listened to her. Juan looked at his hands. They had become the same color of white flower as his grandfather. Juan shook like an earthquake. He felt a fright with all his soul, but he couldn't feel it in his body. Juan desperately reached for his clothes and tried to put them on. What was left of his hands could grip his pants and shirt, but the clothes wouldn't cling to his body. They just dropped right through him and landed on the cemetery grass. I'm a nice guy, protested Juan. This can't be happening to me. Yes, Juan, she answered. 
You're a nice guy, but you liked the attention everyone gave you at the dance a little too much. You responded more to your friends and enemies than you did to me. That's no way to treat a lady, Juan. A girl doesn't like to be ignored. As the sun rose, Juan faded into the light. All that le was left of him were the clothes he had worn to the dance. Unlike his abuelito, the town remembers Juan kindly. Legend has it, when a girl drops her books, the ghost of Juan will pick them up. <laughs> All right, that was good. Cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm gonna read it this point, okay? I'm sorry, it's uh, my accent is a special accent. They call all to neoliberalism. A chore of Chagatan, model piece of Washington banker, proclaiming to the thousand wing the democracy or the free market. Neoliberalism, a well known hallmark or the imperial house, giving cosmetic solution to the poor or the poor, telescending emergency council to all corners of the world, economy projects of value and bankruptcy to, to a puppet government, more in the belly of the dust of the or the Western civilization, lie down in a under nudist in the black market. Dealer of the hunger people still continue in the big house. Now being surrounded by thousands of unemployment workers with a stance, with a war stance during a widespread poverty. The freedom of expression is an imposter of the free trade because it's distributing misery and holds us as a prisoner of the so-called marking democracy. Okay. One. I'm gonna read this one uh, that I made in honor of my friend Alfonso Tesidor. Okay? They call forward, adelante. What a life in love with the poetry. What a legendary life of your bohemian heart. And you were a lover of insurgents and poetry. And your lifetime of sugar cane and rhymes transcending your lifetime. And in every corner of your neighborhood of the mission is banner by a star. You are walking with your singular pace. And here you are with your friend. And you call us with one embrace of solidarity. And you call us with the memory of your unique life. And you continue living, Alfonso. Keep forward. Thank you. Thank you. De San Francisco, la misionera de migrantes. Tus calles están invadidas por condominios de lujos. Tu callejones, refugio de nuestras desdichas. Tus murales, entreteniendo a nuestras niñas y niños. Tus escaparates, la pista de nuestros sueños. Y tu jornalero, resistiendo a las redadas de la migra. Y tu río de voces alzándose contra las injusticias. Alerta, alerta, alerta. Los casatenientes nos acosan de día y de noche. Los desplazamientos 
están en movimiento. La oncocracia y los especuladores de la vivienda de dólar a dólar, de crédito a crédito, de hipoteca a hipoteca, quieren encadenar nuestro futuro. Yo te recorro a diario, tú bien lo sabes, y entre tus lágrimas milenarias encontré mi lucha comunitaria. Sí. Mission Street The Missionary of Emigrants your, your street invaded by luxury condominiums Your Halle a refugee of our misfortune Your mural and entertaining our children. And your shopping window is the, is the, is, is the, is the la pista of our dream. And your ornaleros are resisting the right of the migra. And our river of voices rising up against the injustice. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Los landlords are accosting from the day and the night. The eviction are in movement. And the bank of class, the speculator, and the vendedores, and the seller. For by dollar a dollar, by credit a credit, by by D by D, they wanna change our future. I running every day to you, you know it. And between your millionaire drops, I found my community a struggle. <laughs> Y, y alguna, alguna regla, alguna regla, no de Juan. This is a, for the, uh, for the mission, the, the, the Parque Dolores. Parque Dolores. Or this one. Sir. Freedom not in my name. The frio is painted with oil in a, in a basement of a bunker. A lying cowboy, like the, the cry of the vendor, are tele, teleguiding a high voltage massacre. The uranium pestilence sting, the uranium sting of this uh, luxury bomb contaminated the bodies of Iraq. My memory is painting by red color. Children, older people, family entire, have been mutilated by a crusade of terror dollar. The sign of, of satellites smile to the oil well. The new doctrine the preempted strike one, the new petrolo chaos. Techno colonialists, the oil is spent in freedom, but not in my name. Wow. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me explain. My, 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 I don't know if it's a point, but it's my political idea in a poetical way, you know? I try to figure out how to to be concrete yeah. for the people to understand, you know. Uh, and thank you for the opportunity to read to, to you. Thank you. And thank you. Someone special, um, and I think it's very important. 
um, for us to have him in our presence um, because um, I think it's I think it's very powerful to see somebody that um, to decide to run for something. Not you know even if you're running for a marathon, it takes a lot of work. But just running for something that's meaningful and can make changes in people's lives and, and do a lot for our community here in San Francisco. I've been here over 50 years, and I want to say one thing that um, I want to do somebody that's really special, and I really see something in him that's really meaningful. And I think um, if we want change, we want good things to happen here in our city of San Francisco, um, I want to introduce Mayor Francisco Herrera. Um, who's going to be playing here tonight. So, thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Vamos caminando hacia el sol Caminando, caminando Vamos caminando hacia la libertad. And caminando means walking. Con la gente. Con la gente. And the spirit of solidarity with people who, who use wheelchairs and other mechanisms, it's movement instead of walking. Walking, wandering, moving forward. Uh, that's what this song is about. Caminando, caminando, vamos caminando hacia el sol. Caminando, caminando, vamos caminando hacia la libertad. And that's how it goes. Feel free to join in. A mí me gusta cantar. A mí me gusta caminar. A mí me gusta cantar. Que el camino lo vas haciendo. I like to sing. I like to walk. I like to sing that this road, we make it as we walk. There ain't no recipes. Lo vas haciendo al caminar. Caminando. Caminando, caminando. Vamos. Vamos caminando hacia el sol. Caminando, caminando. Vamos caminando hacia la libertad. A la unidad. Vamos caminando hacia la unidad. Unity. Mano a mano caminando. Hombro a hombro trabajando. Hand to hand, we're walking, shoulder to shoulder, we're working. And by sharing the land is how we harvest freedom. La, la tierra compartiendo, libertades cosechando. Oh, 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 oh. Caminando, caminando, caminando. Vamos, vamos caminando hacia el sol. Caminando, caminando a la verdad. Vamos caminando hacia la verdad. En verdad es truth. Truth. And the truth is that the opposite of freedom is not necessarily jail. That's why many of us have, have risked jail, 
or our own freedoms or our wallet or our name and reputation or our very lives for our freedom or for other freedom. But the opposite of freedom many times is something like malnutrition where the body starts eating itself from inside or the type of domestic violence that destroys the insides of a child as he sees his father almost kill his mother or the rip-off artists that rob the common trough, the people's money to deny a good education from children. That is very much the opposite of freedom. That's why we say, Ya no más desnutrición, queremos liberación. No al egoísmo, no a la guerra, pa' vivirla. Vida plena, pa vivirla, pa vivir la vida ple, ple, plena, plena. Caminando, caminando, vamos, vamos caminando hacia el sol. Caminando, caminando hacia la paz. Vamos caminando hacia la paz. Sí.